Hey, what's up? This is Black Mama doing a Ross review for Proto Clown um, from Stroking Our Wookiee. Uh, he's got Jedi Knight Revan and Rebels, the classic. The classic. Okay, lots of gear 12s I can see off the bat. Um, lots of top half gear 12s. Can organize by speed at first, because that's the most important thing in this game. Uh, your Yoda's faster than your Darth Revan, or sorry, your Jedi Revan. I like the speed though, plus 142 is really good. Plus 130. And then your Darth Revan's right behind him at plus 124. I'm liking these sets though, you got some good speed. 109. And then BB-8, you got the right people at the right speed, that's for sure. At least, for the most part, 127. So, let's see. I'm just gonna check, is there a reason why you're not running Sith Empire in Arena? Probably because of Sith Trooper, I would guess. It's the main reason. Okay. 4.2 mil roster. Um, you have quite a bit of Zetas. All right, let's start with uh, Bounty Hunters. Freaking awesome, dude. I love it when I see, I love to see Aura Sing and Embo. Those two are, <laughs> man, I want to, I want to get them up so bad. Um, Speed and Potency. A9 Speed, get some. A little bit of crit damage, potency, I like it. You have them all seven stars. Dude, what a beast. Uh, I am lacking the, t <laughs> loving the tenacity already. 87, 80%. Uh, you could probably get this to be protection triangle. Uh, that's good. And this to be protection triangle. Other than that, this is fantastic. Uh, you're doing the Mamba rule with plus 10 minimum on all mods. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, the only thing is just um, get this to protection primary and this to protection primary. The rest is just fantastic already. I think I've said fantastic like 10 times already. <laughs> I'll stop saying that. Anyways, uh, crit damage, crit chance, 68 speed. Uh, he's not known to be sp speedy anyways. See if you've got crit damage. Ooh, you could, you could increase this. This mod a bit. Um, it's only got plus four. Um, this should be potency, uh, protection, or offense. Um, this is probably just a filler mod uh, with crit chance, but eventually look for it. I know this has 4.4% crit chance but and the potency, but so the primary is what's affecting you. Um, and that's a good mod right there. Uh, well modded. Django, um, I don't remember how hard he is to gear. I geared him a while ago, but I'm glad to see speed and crit chance. That's what I run on him. Um, but try to get him above plus 100 speed. Um, the faster he goes, quicker. You want him to be the very first bounty hunter to go. Uh, especially if you can, if you can have Django lead. Do you have the? Yeah. Okay. So you do have the leader, Zated. Dude, you get this guy to gear 12. You have a freaking deadly bounty hunter team. My gosh. That's a force to be reckoned with. Um, especially if you get him fast. Like I'm talking plus 100, 110, 120. Depends on what mods you, you can give him. Uh, uh, that'll get you a lot of GA holds um, on defense and territory war. And then they would just look pretty. I like looking at pretty pretty uh, teams as well. Um Clone Troopers, they just announced today that they're getting a rework. Um, you are already set for them to be uh, ready, which is fantastic. Okay, I said fantastic again. I'm going to stop. Whatever. Loving the roster so far. Uh, let's see. I'll start with Grievous. I see you do... Oh, you only have one, though. So you have mostly health mods. Um, with crit damage, 59 speed. 
You have no speed additional on this. Just kind of curious. This is probably just a filler mod. Um, and you probably have this on him because of the plus 16 health. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it'll do for now, but eventually you want to have all six of these mods at health. With uh, health, health on... Uh, this can be crit damage, yes. And then health on this. Uh, may surprise you, but health arrow with speed secondary is great. Um, and then get the rest to plus 10 speed secondaries. Uh, B2. Um, you want him modded for tenacity and potency. I see you have a potency set. Why is this level 13? Just kind of curious. It's a good offense set. Um, but close, shoot for 100% potency and 100% tenacity on both. Speed's not that big of a deal. Um, this can be protection. doesn't have to be speed. You just want him to survive as long as as possible. This can also be protection, uh, potency, or tenacity. I see a lot of people use potency. That's also a good offense secondary. Um, he doesn't hit very hard. Um... So you can probably move these offense mods to somebody who's supposed to hit hard. Uh, let's see. 3PO. At least you have him 7 stars. He's got a good... Yeah, this is already a good set. He's got 106 plus a lot of uh, potency. So that's good. I'm sure you're probably going to gear him eventually. Uh, Magna Guard. Freaking most annoying character to gear. I mean, he's not the most, but one of them. Takes a trillion Carbontes. Um, he doesn't need potency. I see you have a, a, a full set on him. I would recommend defense or tenacity. You just want him to be as close to 100k protection as possible. And that means protection on all the four optional mods. The four optional mods are the arrow, triangle, cross, and circle. The other two you can't change what the primary is. But um, the four optional ones you want all uh, protection. And uh, either four tenacity and two defense, or four defense and two tenacity. Either one. My favorite character in the game, Jordica. I see you have full offense, except for one defense set, uh, which you can't even have six offense, so this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. I'm in a bad habit today. I don't know what this is. Um, 41 speed. That's lower than me, so <laughs> beat me on that. Uh, I'm trying to get mine lower, but you want it to be as close to zero speed as possible. Uh, physical damage is pretty good. You want this to be offense. Um, I've seen some people do crit avoidance, but offense is definitely the best. He's a very high-hitting uh, attacker. This is offense. Um, try to get rid of the speed if possible and add some secondary offense stats. Uh, this should also be offense, and this protection with no speed um, as well. This can be moved to somebody who needs speed and crit chance, um, as that's a pretty good mod. Uh, this would be... I see it does have 1% uh, offense, but you can probably find a better mod that has offense. But the zero speed is perfect. And then uh, some offense secondary on this with no speed. Um, a lot of rosters I'm seeing offense with potency, which is what you have, but I highly recommend speed with potency. Um, yeah, he does hit for a good amount and always assists, so he's always doing damage. And a lot of people think, you know, he's always going to be attacking, so more damage, the better. But actually, the more times he gets to go, the better, so he can heal his whole team. He's, he's technically a healer. Um... I know he's listed as an attacker, but that's his main purpose is to heal the team. So try to get him above a hundred uh, plus a hundred speed with uh, plus not plus, but total of seventy five percent to eighty percent potency would be the absolute best. Um, and you don't need and I I know you don't already, but you don't need uh, crit damage as he does not crit. But you want offense here, uh, offense here. And it does not matter what you put here for primary because he can't gain health or protection. Um, HK, 
You have mods for offense on him, which is what you want. You have great offense. But I will talk more about him with Sith Empire. And then R2BB8 with their factions as well. Thrawn, um, I like to see above. Yeah, okay, so 109 is good. I like to see him faster the better. Uh, he's one of the best plug and play characters. Some, he was considered to be the best all around character in the game for years. Uh, Fracture is super big, just speed. Let's see, you got speed and crit chance and a crit damage. 104. Uh, try to work on protection a little bit higher. Uh, he's very squishy, so you want him to survive as long as possible. I'd probably give protection on the circle and um, triangle. Ooh, this could be a good uh, mod for Yoda, to be honest. Like four offense mods and then two crit chance for Grandmaster Yoda. And this could be one of them right here. Uh, you got good troopers or in the work in progress. You already have General Veer zated. I see you're you're probably just working on them. Um, Vader, depending on what team you want to run, you want him to be full speed with a uh, crit chance secondary because in a palp team. You want him to be fast, so he opens up with Force Crush to start the Terminator train. Uh, I recommend plus 110 or faster. Again, mods are totally dependent on what you have available, so this is kind of just a goal to shoot for. Uh, I saw you had 7 star 3PO, so uh, you probably have fantastic uh, Ewoks. There's the word again. <laughs> um... Murder bears, dude. These guys are crazy. Plus 94. Dude, you got... got some speedy Ewoks. You must use these guys in GA. Because you've got these guys all modded really well. Yeah. Well, good job on your Ewoks. That's great. Uh, Double Zeta Crew. You almost have him gear 12. He just needs one more piece. I see you have a mod for speed and crit damage. Um, he doesn't entirely do a whole lot of damage. You want him to be just uh, tanky with health mods um, and protection. So as what I recommend, again, it's all dependent on the mods you already have. But a full set of health mods um, with plus 80 speed minimum, if you can... Uh, and then protection on the bottom three optionals uh, with a speed arrow. So speed, protection, protection, protection. And then all six health mods. Uh, the reason for this is because he gains 8% health every time he's damaged. The more health he has, the more health he gets back. Um, try to get him at least plus 90 speed. Um, he's also kind of a turn meter train type character with his lash out. He gets, um, 20 or a lot of turn meter for a lot of people. Um, yeah, 25% is, uh, quite a bit, you know, um, so just try to get him fast. He's kind of utility. The main damage dealer on this team is Fox. You want him to be full health mods as well. Same with um, crew. But on, on this section, you want this to be crit damage, which you do have. Again, uh, plus 10 speed minimum on all secondaries, if you can. Uh, that's just a goal to shoot for. And then health and health, which you do have. Um, and speed, yes. Uh, but try to get plus 80 on this guy. It's not too much more to do. I do like the 66 critical damage. Uh, but you definitely want full uh, health mods on him because he scales with stacking health and stacking offense. And then first order officer, you want to be the first one to go on the first order team. Um, I'm seeing them being used more and more for offense, and he has the fastest base speed of the first order team. So if you mod him for, let's say, plus 110, uh, then he goes first. And you can swap Turnometer with Kylo Ren, 
You can swap turn with Kylo Ren Unmasked First Order Executioner. All depends on what you want to start the the fight with. Let's say you're you're going against a pre taunt. You can start with um, Kylo Ren Unmasked, and you can halt the pre taunt, which stuns them, gets rid of taunt. Or you can start with First Order Executioner. You can start with his special ability, which also gets rid of uh, positive status effects, either or. Or if there's no pre taunt and you want to gain full turn meter for your whole team, you swap turn meter with Kylo Ren, open up with Lash Out, and your whole team will have 100% turn meter. And your full team will go before the entire enemy team, which really helps on offense. That's why they're becoming more and more an offensive team. Uh, looking for Padme. Don't see her. Um, going to swap over really quick to Separatist, see if you're going to get Padme. Looks like you will. Yeah, you're definitely going to get Padme next round. Um, I just finished a Grand Arena with only Zetas on Padme's uh, leadership and unique, and it was fantastic against a Darth Revan. I can only imagine what a full Zated Padme team will be like with the final fifth character. I can almost put money down on it that it will be the next meta. So watch out for that. Uh, Padme, Ahsoka Tano, General Kenobi, Anakin, and a fifth. That fifth is still up in the air. A lot of people use 3PO. Some use Zerus, which you do have. Some use Yoda. Um, but uh, if I were you and this team, I would use Zerus because you already have the Zeta. Um, but yeah, just keep working on this team. I see you're definitely going to be fully set for light side TB. Uh, oh, you want him to be, oh yeah, he's on your arena team, so he's probably well modded. Yeah, that's, I have no, <laughs> no words for this. Good job. Uh, Soka full offense. Okay, so she skills with offense. Uh, 70, plus 70 speed's fine with her. She gets plus 50 from her unique. Um, crit damage is also okay, so you could probably keep this mod set. Uh, offense or crit damage for her. Uh, both work. Uh, same with him, offense or crit damage with potency. So, let's see, you have 81 plus 20 potency. Okay, so arena-wise, or PvP... You want this to be potency because the healing immunity and buff immunity is massive um, against a lot of characters, not just Malak. I mean, Malak, it's mandatory, uh, but a lot of characters, it's it's also huge. Buff immunity on anybody is quite tragic if they can't get any buffs. Uh, and then crit damage here or offense um, and health here. That's correct, yeah. Let's see. And then when you when you do unlock Padme, which I believe will be in August, I could also put money down on that. Um, you're going to want to mod her for a lot of health and in the 50 speed range, like plus 50 speed range, because yes, she's a fast character, uh, but you want her to go last on the team. So she reverses the debuffs. Just for, for future noting. Um, and I'm just going to use her as an example. So pretend this is Padme's uh, uh, mods. You want this to be health with a little bit of speed secondary. Health, health, and health. All those need to be primary of health with um, plus 50-ish range, plus 55-ish range speed. Um, and she will just be a, a freaking tank. You'll, you'll have fun with the character. You're going to get her next round. G notions are good. I see you have double Zeta Brood. Um, you're probably working towards a full G Notion team. They're absolutely annoying to face in Grand Arena. Um, so keep up the good work on them. Uh, we did touch up a little bit briefly on Troopers. You're almost there. Uh, good thing you have Shore done. He's. Very long farm. Oh, I do notice that you have certain mods on him. I would bring him to defense mods or tenacity uh, with protection on the bottom three optional ones. 
Um, and then probably speed for this. Um, because the more times he goes, more times he can do this ability. <laughs> um, I don't really need to talk with them, but yeah, I'm just going to pass. Jawas or Jawas. Uh, you've probably, you might've seen the videos of them countering, uh, Geos, but I don't recommend it because they probably need to be gear 12. <laughs> um, Jedi Revan is your arena team. Uh, you have him plus 130. Uh, I did notice that, let's see, which is special offense. So your Yoda is faster than your Jedi Revan. Um, typical Jedi Revans do better with the Jedi Revan going faster than, than the rest of the team. Uh, the reason you want this is because let's say you're in a mirror matchup. Whoever gets to direct focus on the correct target first uh, typically can win. It's kind of like the Bast of the Fallen mirror, although it's not as critical. Um, slower, uh, slower Jedi Revens can still win, but you might find more success having your Jedi Revan with the faster mod set. Um, and for Jedi Revan, the primaries aren't typically all that important except for this one you want crit chance um and then grandmaster yoda you want this to be crit damage which that's an amazing mod by the way plus 23 crit damage speed mod i'm kind of jealous of this mod to be honest i wish i had that um and then offense which you have and health or protection either one works Nice mod. Congrats. Um, Hyoda or Hermit Yoda. Speed, speed, speed. I like to see uh, Hyoda's at about plus 110, plus 120 if you can afford it. Not everybody has the mod loadout available for that. Um, but he does really well with speed. None of his primaries matter as he is not a damaging unit. Um... So none of those matter. Just speed for him. Uh, you have quite a bit of work to do on your Night Sisters, especially as we're approaching to be deeper and deeper with Gear Thirteen. Um, I highly suggest getting your Night Sisters up. Uh, this might be your most important project because they're a key component in every facet of the game, except for arena right now, like squad arena. They used to be, they used to show up all the time, but Darth Revan kind of took them out. Anyways, Grand Arena, Territory War, raids, uh, PVE content, anywhere. These guys are huge. Uh, so I highly recommend getting them up. I would focus on, um, Saj is done, I'd focus on Talzin. Zombie, Daka, and Spirit. I'm really glad you already have Seven Star Spirit. That's the hardest part of her farm, is just her star level. Those five I'd highly focus on. Um, Zeta wise, um, you could probably, you don't have to use a Zeta on her lead at this point in the game because it's more common to run a Saj lead nowadays. Uh, but I would recommend her Plague Bearer eventually. Um, as well as way later down the road, Daka's uh, server again. But I don't have that, and I haven't found a need, an absolute need for it yet. But eventually, I'd say months down the road. And then Spirit, uh, you want her to be offensive mods or speed mods because she hits like a truck. Uh, full health mods on Daka. Um... And crit damage, crit chance with her. I see you have crit damage at least with A speed, so that's, that's alright right there. Um, I didn't see... Did I... Do you have... Oh yeah, you do have Darth Revan. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to get Malak? You should be able to get Malak. Um, you're almost there. Let's see, what's his power? So you need 17,500 power for Candorous. And then I think you should be solid. Yeah, because Juhani's there. And 
Yeah. So you're going to get Darth Malak. I would also um, highly, highly guess that he's going to be in the month of August as well. Uh, that's a very high ch- probability. So good luck to you. Hope you get him. Uh, do not miss him, especially with your roster as it is. You do not want to miss him. If they're doing five, six month increments, it'd be a shame and pain in the ass to have the characters you have now and not get him. So, uh, you should be able to get him. I mean, you have everybody ready. You have the Zetas. Um, yeah, you should be fine, but just make sure you don't miss it. Um, Phoenix is probably... So you have a Zeta on three Phoenix. I heard this one hits like a... Like a... Yeah, a certain word. Um, at least you have the best three Zetas. I've heard Canyons is good, but um, I don't recommend any more Zetas on Phoenix. Uh, but these probably do help your, your ships as well. Um... Uh, faster CLS the better um, Dryzov can attest to that faster he goes the better he performs on offense um, do you have potency yes you do nice and crit damage yes protection or health either one with offense okay so this is this is very well modded uh, but keep the same type of strategy just increase the speed as much as you can you could probably 16 that's good yeah see the, the plus four is what you can improve on so there, there's certain things where you can be like oh, okay here's where i can improve um but yeah try to get his speed up you know full offense yes thank you full offense with crit chance fantastic 83 speeds perfectly fine don't change a thing on him Uh, you have double Zeta, so everybody gets the potency, tenacity, offense, protection, health, everything with him. So you have kind of a mixture of stats. I like it. Good job. Uh, crit damage, crit chance, which is perfect. You don't really need him too fast. Plus, I was going to say like plus 80 is fine, but you have plus 93. That's even better. Um, you have him pretty squishy. Let's see what do you have here. Health. Oh, but at 18. Nice work. Uh, with potency as well and critical damage and okay so you, I would work on increasing the offense a little bit if possible um, see like this plus 110 uh, that's the type of stuff you want to see on all of his mods he's freaking massive damage dealer um, like this can be crit damage and add some nice flat offense on it and then also here Although that's a that's actually a really good mod for him because you have the offense percentage, flat offense, and potency. So I mean that's pretty good. But you could add some uh, flat offense here as well. And then when you six e the offense percentages. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. You have one. Some people do an offense here. Some do potency. Both work. But uh, when you six e this, your offense will go up as well. You have JTR, the two. I don't recommend. I mean, there's no, there's no really need to give her a third Zeta at this point in the game. She works fine with two. Um, you have her mounted perfectly, as far as I can tell, based off face value. You want crit damage and potency. Uh, 82. Uh, yeah, this is this is fine. BBA. I remember being one of your fastest characters. Uh, that's that's good. With tenacity, nice. Well modded. Always more more speed the better on BB-8. Nothing wrong with more speed. You probably do pretty well in... Uh, probably add a little more speed on him. Uh, but uh, you probably do well in the in the Sith Raid. At least phase, this phase 1 team it looks, looks good. Do you have Nest? Yes, you do. 7 star Zeta. Nice work. Okay, so there's two ways to run her. You can run her fast, which you are doing. Um, or you can run her slow with tenacity. So if you're going to run her fast, um, I'd give a little bit more health or protection to her and more damage. I'd give her, if you're going to run her fast, I'd run crit damage on here. Although that's fine because it has all the stuff you want. Nice. 
I'd probably give this a um a protection cross. Yeah. I give this a protection cross, but this is this is this is good. And you have Cura Zeta as well. So do you run a do you run a Cura a Cure team? Yeah, you have young Lando and young Han Solo. Well, you probably have a really good Cure team. Okay, so um, good annoying Cure team to run on GA defense. Cure lead, young Han Solo, young Lando, L3, and Nest. Uh, so if you get your L3 uh, with more gear, that's a super annoying team to run. And a lot of people just straight up have to use tree against it. So just a recommendation on a possibility. That and Night Sisters. Uh, we went through Separatists. Obviously work in progress, but keep up because... Okay, so based off right now, I would say G-Notions, uh, Separatist Droids, Night Sisters, and uh, that Cure Nest team. And Sith Trooper are your your biggest top priorities. Because uh, if you can if you can get the first five in this row, uh, all in the same team, then you're you're golden. Especially once you get Malak, you'll be you'll be set. Um, let's see. Recommended Zetas. I would say save two for the Padme, or, or for Padme. It's not necessary, but um, Corner Beast is good, but there's other ones that are more important. Um, let's see. B2 Super Battle Droid. Oh, all the all the all the Grievous teams yet, except for uh, Magna Guard are are good. You you don't have to get Jordica either. Jordica and Magna Guard you can skip out on. Um, some have both, some have one or the other, but uh, the main essential ones are Grievous Double Zeta, uh, B2, B1, um, and then both Padmes. Uh, I don't think you had Anakin's, so Anakin's is up there. Yeah, there he is. Who am I missing? I think that's it. For recommended Zetas. Um, based on your team, if you're trying to gear 13 someone, um, I would do Bastille of Fallen, Darth Revan, Jedi Revan, um, Grandmaster Yoda, CLS, and Han Solo would be, and Grievous are all the recommendations. You can choose which ones you want to do of those, but that's my recommendations. Let's see. Ships, you probably do well because your Rebels are good. You have 7 Star Falcon. You got all the Zetas. Um, how's your speed? Speed's not a huge importance for Akbar. I mean, yeah, it, you can go first on your capital ship, but you can still get rank 1 with uh, Gear 11 Akbar. Um, but yeah, great overall roster. Um, not too much to work on, just some some small stepping stones, great roster. Uh, keep up the good work.